Hey guys, it's me, Emily. I am back with another vlog, what my life has been like. And it's actually my one, one, one month anniversary since I've been in the hospital. By the time I post this, it'll probably be the next day, so I'll be here for 31 days. <laughs> but still, it's actually gone by really fast and I'm quite content now because I'm in my nice room and it's kind of my apartment. That's sad. My first apartment didn't, didn't want it to be a hospital room, but I'll take what I could get, I guess, considering the alternative. I have a nice fridge, so I could bring snacks and stuff. And I could finally get down to the cafeteria and get out of this room a little bit and go up to the roof and see Cleveland. It's a view. <laughs> I'd much rather see Pittsburgh view. It's much more prettier. <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do after I get out of here? I'll go visit that Pittsburgh and look at the view. <laughs> but until then, I'm here in Cleveland. But yes, I am up and moving and get to go downstairs. I get to go upstairs. And I went downstairs yesterday with another patient. This thing is going off. It's going to wait. I'm going to silence it a couple million times before this video ends. <laughs> um, I went up, well, downstairs with a patient and her mother, and I'm walking past like the doors to enter Cleveland Clinic, and I'm just like, I'm so close. I can escape. I just want to feel the sunshine again, and well, what little sunshine we have here in Ohio. In Cleveland area but just to go outside to feel like wind anything at this point would be great <laughs> um, <coughs> it was really actually nice to get out of my little room off of my floor and get to move and get to see other people <laughs> though when I went downstairs like all the people that were um, there for appointments kind of just like staring at me as I'm like walking through and I'm like oh what are we looking at like we've never seen a person in a hospital gown in a pool strutting around the hospital it was weird but it's a little awkward but whatever I'll get used to it <coughs> so and I started cardiac rehab this week which has been nice but my legs are tired because I've been doing a bike and I haven't worked out in a while. But I think by next Monday, I'll probably be numb to it and just keep pushing through. Which the exercise is supposed to help me like keep my strength up for my surgery and after my surgery. So that's a plus. Um, I'm going to adjust my camera. <laughs> you guys might be looking up. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's been what's going on with me. Nothing new, just a lot of waiting. In order to silence you again, I'll call the doctor when I'm done. Okay, silence. <laughs> or the nurse, not the doctor. But that's what's been going on. Still just waiting. I did, however, ask. Um, my doctor if there's been any like interest in hearts and there hasn't been like one that they wanted to offer to me because they want like the most pristine hearts that they could get for me the same I'm gonna assume the same with the liver but probably the hearts the most important obviously the heart is gonna be the most important one so they're kind of waiting for like the most pristine heart before they even say anything, which I understand, I get, but I'm just ready to go. I'm more happy that I made it to one month and didn't like lose it completely. The first week and a half was hard, but I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm home. I'm adjusting and I'm adapting to this new world. I did, however, hear from 
my kids today, or my preschoolers, I don't have kids, but I work in a preschool daycare center. And they sent me a little video saying get well soon and that they loved me and it was really sad and you know, I miss work and they're gonna make little cards and send them up. <sighs> I miss them, miss their faces. <laughs> but other than that, there's really not a lot of news. I mean, I've definitely been thinking about a lot of things because I had a talk with Angela who's the other patient that's younger that's waiting for a heart too. She's got a different heart condition than me. <laughs> Silence you. It goes off every two minutes, so sorry. <laughs> um, I won't be a congenital patient anymore. So that'll be something really different. And I don't know what it's like to have a normal heart and it's gonna be really strange to say I don't have a congenital heart defect anymore because I won't have my congenital heart defect cardiologist anymore. I'll have a different one, a normal one, I guess. Like, it'll be interesting. I supposedly could do things I can't do before, well, while I'm having my congenital heart. Like, I, I can't, like, run a marathon obviously I don't think I would anyway cuz I'm a terrible runner and nobody wants that and like I get tired now even when I do like some activities and that was before I was going into congestive heart failure so after a normal heart I guess I'm supposed to be able to do all of this stuff and I don't even know what that looks like cuz I don't know anything else I'll have all my experiences from my congenital heart and things I'll remember and that will never go away but it's weird to say I'm going to have a normal heart and not be a congenital heart patient anymore so it's weird but interest it's I don't know if it's good or bad I mean being a congenital heart patient makes me have an interesting story but so does having a transplant or a dual transplant so, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this and realizing I would kill for some concealer and some mascara and two. These eyebrows need done. They need done and so bad. I just, I will kill to get my eyebrows done, put some stuff on and look like a person. I need some makeup, oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, that's not why I was here to complain about my no makeup face. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> it's all every two minutes. Like clockwork. I'll get the nurse after this. But, I mean, I don't have no news. It's my one month anniversary and I'm good and I'm content and we'll see how much longer I have. So. Please, guys, I would really much appreciate if you guys subscribe, make some comments, tell me your stories and what's going on with you. Because being a, still being that congenital patient, we still need to stick together. Or even if you have had a transplant or just have any medical issues, they're very hard but we all deal with them differently and some of them are worse some of them aren't and that what's that's what makes us unique telling our stories so don't be afraid to comment and please hit that subscribe button and Hit that like button and pass this around. I want as many people to follow my vlog and what's going on with me as possible, even if it's just to help somebody. So, I should probably get off here. It's only been a very short video, but this pump will continue to go every two minutes. 
until I get somebody. <sighs> so maybe I'll make another video in like another week or so, but it'll probably be the same thing. Just lots of waiting, sitting and waiting in my bed, just doing nothing. Though I should be up moving and going down to the cafeteria more. Oh my gosh. And getting up to the roof. Oh. Oh my gosh. I forgot to say I ordered DoorDash with Angela. And we ordered like at a ramen restaurant. And I have never had like ramen. Because I know it's really, really like popular right now. <gasps> so good. Guys, if you've never had like a ramen bowl from a like one of those fancy restaurants that I guess ramen is popular right now. <gasps> Do it. It's so good. I don't even know what I got. I got the same thing Angela did. It was chicken, broccoli. You could get corn in it and mushrooms. I opted out of corn and mushrooms because I don't like mushrooms and I don't really like corn in my soups all that much. And you could pick like whatever kind of broth and I got the spicy one. <gasps> so good. I it, Oh my God. Words can't even describe how good it was. I inhaled it in like less than 10 minutes. So good. I want to order it again, but it is full of sodium. <laughs> I will say that it is sodium heavy, but worth it. Because I love ramen anyway. And to add like chicken and broccoli and this spicy broth that could have been more spicy because I like spicy. I'm ordering it again somewhere along the line. <laughs> anyway, that's what I wanted to say because I just remembered it right now. Alrighty, I'm going to get going because, like I said, this thing's going to go off. I need a nurse. I will talk to you guys another day. <laughs> Bye.